what will happen to Biafra if an Igbo man is elected as president? Nwosu speaks. What will happen? What will happen to Biafra? What is going to happen to Biafra if an Igbo man comes into power? See, this is what many of us are getting wrong. Nothing will happen to Biafra. Biafra will even be more strong as ever. Some persons are thinking that once Igbo becomes a president, that the agitation for Biafra will press down. Never. It won't work. It will never happen. I'm telling you. You think that once an Igbo man becomes a president, so he will now be able to use his power to press down the agitation and make the agitators not to go on with the pursuit for Biafran freedom. It's a lie. That is when the agitation will be what? Will be multiplied, will be doubled. And you will see how tough the agitation will now become. Why? Because why? Why is because from the onset, Biafrans never want presidency. They don't want presidency. What they are asking for is Biafran freedom. And that is what, they are, what, what, what it entails. So I don't know what Umosu is talking about. Not until I go through this very content. Let's see that. Igbo leader and one-time minister of health, Professor ABC Umosu speaks on 2023 election excerpt. He has revealed what will happen to the Biafran struggle once an Igbo man is elected. According to him, you have been silent for a long time. But now, the truth is about to set in. According to Woso, I found that I am getting old and that I require medical attention. So I have spent a good deal of time outside the country on my medical and I have I am fully back now to work with my colleague on the subject of nation building and presidency from the southeast. I am glad to tell you that our determination to produce a Nigerian president from the southeast zone is going to press down and put away the agitation for Biafra once and for all. It is very realizable now than when we started. The reason is very simple because you can't build any nation on injustice, unfairness, and inequity. A nation must work for all its citizens. You can't have a nation of different citizens when it is time to give to the nation the best. You exclude certain citizens. Nigeria is now going through one of the most trying times of its history and nationhood, and it needs all citizens to put hand on deck to pull Nigeria from the brink. It cannot be business as usual of dishing out patronages, collecting oil blocks, importing petrol, and hoarding petrol dollar outside the country. Something new and drastic has to happen this time, and that strengthens me that considering equity and justice, it is the Southeast that has the best chance to produce the next Nigerian president. I bet you, Biafran will be forgotten. Some of the Igbos will throw support and forget on the agitation. Yes, Namdekano has fought, but then he himself will see reason to put up support and call for peace once and for all. Sorry, ABC Monsoon. I am not trying to dispute your opinion. Do you understand? But you've forgotten that from the beginning, from the beginning of this very struggle, which didn't just start now, because the Biafra struggle started, started from since 1967 and if you look at the, 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 the motive or the objective or the motto of the very struggle you will see that the motive is strictly on 
Biafran freedom. They don't want presidency. Freedom from slavery. They believe that their people have been subjected to slavery. They never said that they want any position. They never made. They never said it was during the time of uh, Aguin Ronsi, um, you know, uh, uh, who was uh, was his name, Nam the Aziki way, and all of that. That that then the Igbos were saying, okay, let us consider having power. Let us consider coming into power and all of that. But this very regime, this very uh, generation, have said that no, that they should keep their power. Because when we needed it, they never gave it to us. And on top of that, they start introducing, you know, deceit. Even if they give you that power, what do you have, uh, What makes you think that they will allow you to rule in peace? See what happened to Jonathan. See what happened to Jonathan. A friend of mine told me that this Northerners. They are not learned, learned, they are not learned, learned, but then they know politics. They know politics. So you need to think about this. Not all about uh, we must come into power. Yes, a lot of evil want that. A lot of evils want to come to power. But what is the probability that coming into power will really give the evils? What they want. What is the probability that coming to power will put an end to the slavery of the Igbos? You think that if an Igbo man comes to power, he will dance to the tune of the Igbos? He will dance to the tune of the, of the Northerners. The Northern people will still be the one ruling. Yet the Igbo man is still the one in power. <laughs> he will listen to the Northern man. He will listen to the Northern man. Let me give you an example. Autumn is auto easy, the oil mogu. For example, you put such a person in power. I'm telling you, auto easy. We dance to the tune of the northern people because even he himself have said it that he prefer to do business with the northerners than to his brother south easterners. <laughs> Let us don't waste our time because. Um, I tell you that this time we're wasting, pursuing presidency can still be wasted on the struggle for Biafran freedom. Let me give room for you to come in at least. Let me know what's your opinion on this very broadcast, maybe. Don't forget your comments still are very, very important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.